Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be playing around with some new makeup products. I'm very excited. I have the Glossier Brow Lift right here. And I did get all three shades just because um, I didn't know <laughs> which one I would want. So I know black would be like the one I would choose if I didn't have the orange hair. But I don't know if blonde or brown will fit the orange. We'll see. <laughs> I'm very, very excited. I decided to switch up the angle because I don't know why. So, yeah, there's that. Let's get started. So if you watched my full face of Mexican drugstore makeup, you would have seen this. This is the Vogue foundation. The Mate Natural Foundation. It's the newest one that I have in my collection. So why not use it again? I actually have been enjoying this. But I went to their website and there's only four freaking shades. So Vogue, you, you better... I mean, four shades. That's... You need to get your shit together. Hopefully they do. It still smells like alcohol. I'm not gonna lie. But it doesn't sting my face anymore. You know what it reminds me of? I don't know if any of you remember the L'Oreal Liquid Powder Foundation. It was obviously super liquidy, very lightweight. It did have more of a natural matte finish. They discontinued it. I remember loving that foundation and this reminds me so much of that foundation. Now for concealer, the most recent and newest concealer that I purchased is the Makeup Obsessions Mega Concealer. It looks like this. It's such a fat tube. <laughs> <laughs> it's even, I thought, well, I mean, I have a collection now of really big concealers. Look at that. We have this one, we have the Too Faced, we have Cover FX, and also e.l.f. I just really like these fat and chubby concealers with big, big ass wands. <laughs> it's become quite an obsession for me, as you can see. But this is the latest one in the bunch. This I picked up at Target. It is a brand new makeup range available at Target. I know it's been available in the UK for a while. It's part of um, Makeup Revolution. So it's, you know, affordable. <laughs> it's cheap. It's affordable. And um, I actually really like this concealer. I've used it around three times already. This is in the shade 03. Look at the wand. It is huge, but it has a little like dip. I don't know. Never seen a wand like this one before, but I really like it. It makes it easy to just smear concealer all over. <laughs> I'm just gonna start smearing it. Look at that. So much product. And I'm just gonna use the same brush to apply it. I would say this concealer has more of a medium coverage. Medium coverage, yeah. Not super matte, not super dewy. It's a nice concealer. The concealer, if I remember correctly, it's 10 bucks, which is pretty affordable for the amount that you're getting, actually. Yeah, I've been really liking it. I haven't heard too many people talk about makeup obsession. <laughs> but from what I saw, it looked pretty cool. For blush, I finally was able to find one of these. These are the Burt's Bees All Aglow Lip and Cheek Stick. I picked up the shade Dahlia Do. It took me such a long time to track these down. Uh, targets that carry the full Burt's Bees range, these would always be out of stock. <laughs> and I hated it. I've been wanting to try them out for the longest time because of Alana Davidson. But I went to a random CVS and they had them, so... Finally got myself one of these. I want the peachy one, although I have a lot of peachy blushes. And I actually also do have some of the new ColourPop blushes as well. Let's see. I don't know. These are very pinky, like bubblegum pink. I'll use the Burt's Bees. Although I'm not going to be using the ColourPop blush sticks, the formula is actually really nice. I would recommend them. I'm just going to begin applying it on my face you know this actually reminds me of the the nude sticks blushes especially these nudie blooms ones that are very dewy reminds me a lot of those but obviously a lot cheaper they just blend out so easily as you can see they do have a very dewy finish but oily skin boys and girls like me don't you fret 
because we can just set our makeup <laughs> with a lot of powder and that will make it more matte. I always love, this is a very me thing, I love putting blush on the bridge of the nose. Especially this one, it just kind of looks like I got sunburned, but um, <laughs> but I didn't have to go in the sun to get sunburned. I don't know, I like it. It's a very cute look, I think. For powder, I'm just going to use my trusty milk makeup powder. It's my favorite. I'm going to prime the eyes using the Organic Skin Co's um, eyeshadow in Misty. <laughs> it's kind of hard to apply anything on my eyelid with my long nails. I'm still getting used to... Um, doing things with these nails. <laughs> I know this isn't new, but I haven't used it in my channel. So this is the Fenty Beauty Bronzer in the shade In the Sun, which looks like this. You know, I expected to fall in love with this. I like the shade, but the formula is just not, I don't know. I, it just doesn't compare to the Bare Minerals bronzer that I love. This is the Invisible Bronze in the shade Fair to Light. But as you can see, they're both quite cool tones, so maybe this is still a little darker than this. But this just looks so natural. This looks natural too, but it just, I think I'm so used to this formula <laughs> that this just didn't measure up to this. I mean, it's still a nice bronzer. Don't get me wrong, it is. <laughs> I still use it, but I don't think I would repurchase it. But I know Bare Minerals is definitely going to discontinue the one that I love. They always do that. But I don't know. I'm conflicted. I'm going to skip the highlighter just because the blush is still quite dewy and I don't want to look completely greasy. I'm actually going to apply just a little bit more of the blush right here. There we go. I like that. It looks cute. For eyeshadow palette, I'm going to be using this guy for Morphe. This is the, what is it, the 25 something Pride palette. I'll write it down in the description bar. But this is their newest palette. I freaking love it. It is so colorful. This is screaming, please do a random color challenge video. So I'll do one very soon. But this is so colorful, so vibrant, and it just makes me so happy. <laughs> I kind of want to use the greens. You guys know how I feel about greens. <laughs> so many greens. So many greens. Let's start with this one, Nature. Let's bring it in closer. There you go. I'm just going to start applying this Nature shade on the outer corner. Same brush, I'm going to take the shade Art. And I'm gonna start applying it in this inner part of the crease. Now I'm gonna take the shade Parade on the same brush. And I'm gonna place it in this outer corner. I'm using very light and feathery strokes for this. I just kind of want everything to blend together. Now I'm going to take the shade Thrive, same brush, once again. I'm going to run this on the very edge. And I'm going to take a little bit of milk. And I'm just going to apply it underneath the brow to blend out any harsh edge. Let's take Stonewall right here, this very shimmery color. And I'm just going to press that eyeshadow. This is beautiful, wow. That's a beautiful eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna take the shade Pride, just up here. This is kind of an orangey shade. I like it. I'm gonna apply it all over the lower lash line. This shade totally matches my hair color. <laughs> And now, I'm going to take a little bit of culture as well. And I'm going to take a little bit of culture. For the inner corner, I'm going to apply a little bit more of Stonewall. Okay, for brows. Now let's jump on to brows. Because I still haven't decided whether I'm going to do eyeliner or not. So Glossier Brow 
flick. <laughs> I'm using the shade brown for right now. I know I have really thick brows, but let me see. This is how brown looks like. This is blonde right here, so it's very sheer. I thought it was going to be a tiny bit more opaque, but maybe it's because I just took them out of the box. I don't know. I'm going to go in with brown. So with this, since I do already have quite a full brow, yeah, I can see it now. I'm going to just add flicks. Oh my God, I'm messing up where I have a little bit more of a sparser situation, like right here. And then I'm gonna go a little bit over here. I'm gonna grab the Glossier Color Slide in uh, Jumbo. And apply it on the waterline. You know what? I do want to use one of the new ColourPop eyeliners that I got. These ones. <laughs> so I'm going to go for the lime green. This is in the shade Electric Daisy. Formula is a little dry on this one. I'm not going to lie. I have a few ColourPop eyeliners, so I don't know if maybe it's a little dry because it is a neon. The obsession with eyeliners is definitely very real now. I cannot get enough of them. <laughs> this is just the ColourPop BFF mascara in black. Kind of want bigger, bolder lashes today. The only new lip product that I have is this lip gloss by Black Radiance. This is the Perfect Tone SPF 15 lip gloss in the shade um, Urban Nude. So I'm going to use this, but I'm going to line my lips first. I'm going to line my lips using Whirl by MAC. And that's it for this very colorful makeup look. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. I liked everything that I used. The only thing I was slightly disappointed by was the ColourPop eyeliner. The neon one, I love the color, but the formula was on the drier side. But everything else is just, it's really cool. I like it. I'm gonna have to keep experimenting with these. Obviously, I don't have sparse brows, so it will just be filling in those areas that are a little bit sparser for me. But I like that it's a little on the sheer side. It's it makes a goof proof, okay? <laughs> but I'll have to keep experimenting with the brow flick. What else did I try out in this video? Oh, the blush I love, the foundation I really like, the concealer I like, and the palette I really like. But if you do want to see a random color challenge video, let me know because I will film it ASAP. <laughs> If you're brand new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe to see brand new videos from me. Give this video a like, comment down below, and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. I'm actually about to go film my record collection video, so if this goes up before that, I'll link it. I don't know when I'm going to be posting what video, but also link it. I'm going to get going now. Thank you once again, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.